Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Jada and this is Jada Lee Budgets. On this channel, I do weekly cash stuffings, weekly budget with me's, and quarterly sinking fund updates and bill condensing videos. Today, we are gonna be doing my first cash stuffing for the month of June in 2022. So, um, if you saw my video the other day, I did post a budget with me for this video. Um, now we are going to be doing the cash stuffing portion of that. So I made a total of 740 for this week. What we'll be stuffing is 682. So we're gonna go ahead and count that money. Here. Okay, so it's 100. Fifty, one fifty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Twenty, forty, sixty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is six eighty-two. That is exactly what we are stuffing for today. So the first thing we're gonna get into is our cash envelopes. We're gonna go ahead and see what we have left in our wallet after last week. We did just get back from vacation. So I didn't stuff that much last week because we were going on vacation. Um, I realized that I probably needed a little bit more money, but it's okay. We still have a little bit left, so that is just fine. Seven groceries. We have five, six, seven, eight. Um, as you guys know, I do a $5 and $1 savings challenge. So any fives or ones left over in my wallet, I put aside and I'm saving them up until the end of the year. And we'll see how much we save just from um, spare fives and ones. So I'm gonna put this aside and we'll stuff that later. I don't have anything left in the rest of mine. So fun, miscellaneous, and giving are all gone. Then I do have a few coins, I believe. Okay, I think that's it. And as usual, I have some receipts to scan with Fetch Rewards. I love how big this pocket is because it can fit so many receipts. Um, so I will go ahead and scan those through my Fetch Rewards app. If you don't know what Fetch Rewards is, you collect your receipts for the week, you scan them into Fetch Rewards, and then you get points depending on what you bought. You can get more points, but no matter what, you'll get points for scanning your receipts and you can use those points to redeem gift cards. Um, I have a code in the description box down below, so if you sign up using my code, you get two or 3,000 points to start, and I get the same, which equates to about two or three dollars. So um, I do recommend using that code. I've had a couple people use it already, so thank you guys so much, because it really helps me out and it helps you out. Um, so yeah, go ahead and use that code if you're interested. We'll go ahead and get into stuffing our wallet. So we're back to stuffing our normal amounts in our wallet. Um, groceries is getting 60. So that is going to be two 20s. And then I get some older 20s. Okay. Get this towards the back. Okay, so that's two 20s, a 10, and two fives. Okay, so that's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Going into groceries. Um, we were up in Wisconsin for the last week. It was so fun. My mom was there too. It was all of Ben's family. Um, and we just had a really good time. It went by a little bit too fast, but I was also ready to be home. So it was kind of, you know, bittersweet. All right. Fun is getting 25. Uh, 
I am stuffing on a Sunday. Usually I stuff on Fridays. Um, and the money I use, I use fun typically for the weekends. So I'm assuming most of this will be left next week, but we'll see. Okay, miscellaneous is getting its usual $10. And giving will be getting its usual five dollars. Apparently I did do better with staying in frame last video so hopefully we'll continue with that theme and let me know if I am ever out of frame although usually I catch it when I watch my own videos so Okay, so that is it for our wallet. We've got everything stuffed in there. So the next thing we will do is go to our expenses and see what we have to work with. Okay, let me put this aside. Get into our bills and expenses. So since we're starting a new month, I went ahead and emptied out what we had in there before. And we are starting from scratch in our bills and expenses. So rent is getting 180. Um, it's just getting a little bit more than usual because, um, sorry, my brain can't do two things at once. <laughs> it's getting a little bit more than usual because we now have to pay for renter's insurance where with our current apartment, we our renter's insurance was included in our rent amount. Now we have to pay separately for it, so I'm just including it in our rent amount for our new apartment. So it's 150, 70, 80, and that is all that will be in there since this is the first week of June. Utilities is getting its usual 25. My utilities are, or my half of utilities is $100 a month. That might go down slightly because we are going down like 200 square feet in this new apartment. So maybe it'll go down, we'll see. Phone is getting $6. Oh, that's such a nice five. I'm gonna use that one. Car payment is getting 66, 50, 65, 6. My car payment is 264 a month. Which is not fun to pay, but once we have it paid off, we'll have an extra 264 a month. Subscriptions is getting $5. And this is just for my HBO Max um, subscription as well as my Apple iCloud storage subscription, my Peacock subscription, um, and I think there's one more. I think it's my Acorns, yeah. Okay, Jim is also getting $5. This is the last month that we will be paying for Jim because our new apartment has a gym, so that is super exciting. Um, it's an extra $10 a month to put towards something else. Sorry if I'm a little bit sniffly in this video. My allergies have been pretty bad lately. I think when we went up north and we were surrounded by so many trees, it got a lot worse. So it's not as bad as it was while we were up there. Um, but I'm still a little bit sniffly. Um, gas does not get stuff that stays on my card. Car insurance is going to be getting $33. Okay. Oh, I didn't even grab a 10. <laughs> 20, 30, 1, 2, 3. Um, I also want to say that we just reached 700 subscribers, which is awesome. 
I never expected to have this many subscribers this soon. My goal for this year was to hopefully get to a thousand by the end of the year. And it does look like we're hopefully going to be able to get there. Once we do, I do want to do another giveaway because um, 1000 is a pretty big milestone. So um, I will let you guys know when that comes up. And this line is getting 43. Okay, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. I'm getting my aligners in two weeks. Yes, I believe it's two weeks. So I'm very excited for that. That number is 363 is right. Okay, so 363 is what we have in our expenses and bills binder. Okay, so we are done with that. Now we'll go ahead and get into my short-term sinking funds. Libby is going to be getting five dollars this week so Libby now has 50 70 75 80 85 I did want to mention that I will be doing sorry a bill condensing video at the end of this month since it's the end of another quarter quarter two okay Ben We'll be getting $20. Our anniversary is next week, but we're not celebrating it for another two weeks. So that gives me a little extra time. So Ben now has 20, 40, 60, 75. And I did already get him something. So this is just to pay for whatever we do. I think we're gonna end up doing a little day trip to this cute town that um, his mom showed us a couple months ago. Personal is getting 50. I'm going to move this up just one. Okay. Personal is getting 50 right now every week so that I can save up for my hair to be done at the end of July. So personal now has 50, 100, 50, 55, 56, 57. So 157. That is Libby making her appearance, her vocal appearance. <laughs> Date night is getting $5. So it now has 10, 25, 30. I'm just gonna use this as extra funds for whatever the money in Ben's envelope doesn't cover for anniversary. Okay, home is getting $10. So home now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. And I use this home envelope mostly just for decor. So anytime I wanna buy something new for our apartment um, to add to the aesthetic, then I will pull from there. Gifts is getting $5. So it now has 10. I do have a birthday at the end of June, which is why we're going home at the end of June as well. So I'm gonna save up for that. Activities is getting $4. That's all we have left. So activities now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I use activities as kind of a buffer for my fun envelope. because sometimes we end up deciding in the middle of the week that we want to do something. So I will pull from activities if I didn't budget enough for that week. Clothing is getting $5. I am trying to build or really revamp my wardrobe because I'm trying to get out of all of my college clothes and get more into my professional clothing, my adult clothing. So I definitely want to get rid of a lot. So clothing now has 5, 10, 15, 
And I think what I'm going to end up doing with my $5 and $1 savings challenge is however much it ends up being at the end of the year, I'm going to combine it with my clothing envelope and just kind of go shopping. Beauty is getting 20. We're also going to be doing that for Ben. We're probably going to do it sooner than the end of the year, but he wants to revamp his um, wardrobe as well. So Beauty, hold on a second. Beauty now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. Definitely have enough to get my nails done, but I have about two more weeks before I would usually get my nails done. Travel, oh, nope, we're going over here. Toiletries is getting $5 as usual. We do have some toiletries to get this week. So that's $15, and this will probably be gone at the end of the week. And then hosting is also getting $5 because we will be hosting um, a new housewarming party for our new apartment. And I want to have little snacks and things available for people to eat or snack on. Um, so I'm sure we will end up going out afterwards, so it's good to have a base, a baseline in your stomach. All right, that is it for my short-term sinking fund, so we'll go ahead and get into the long-term ones. Okay, travel has taken a huge hit because we did just go traveling, um, and we ended up using this money for gas. Gas ended up being around $210 total. We split it, so I took 105 out of here. So travel is getting $20. We do have to build it back up since we're going back home at the end of June, so this month. So I only have three more weeks to save for this, which is gonna be interesting because my next paycheck is not going to be as much since I didn't accrue much PTO before a trip. But travel now has 35. Emergency is just getting five this week. So I had other priorities. So emergency now has 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 370. Okay. Medical is not getting anything. Um, but medical has 150, 70, 80, 85, 90, 190 in medical. Right. Christmas is getting $10. So Christmas now has 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. Wow, I didn't even plan that, but that is great. So 200 in Christmas. Um, car maintenance is getting 10 as well. Got to build up car maintenance a bit. So it now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That is not even enough for an oil change for me. My oil changes are around $90 because my car only takes one kind of oil, apparently. I don't know, maybe I should get a second opinion. Um, electronics has 10, 15, 20, 25. It's not getting anything. Okay. Um, savings is not getting anything. So it has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15. Which I know isn't a lot to have into savings, but keep in mind that this is all between all the envelopes. It's savings besides my bills and expenses. Um, and then I also have my 10K challenge. That is majority of it is going into savings. So um, taxes is not getting anything, but it has 500 in the bank, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1,000. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3. 
So 1,243 is what is in taxes. Okay. Then we have Dutch Snowball, which is getting the last 40. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. But we don't add that to our total because that gets paid off at the end of each quarter. All right, so that is it for my sinking funds. Now we'll get into the challenges. So $1 challenge, we'll get the three ones that I had left over from my wallet. We do not count $1 or $5 challenge. It'll be a surprise at the end of the year. $5 challenge, we'll just be getting the one five that we had left over. And then 10K challenge is not getting anything, but it has 1,000 in the bank. 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,600. 1,600 in 10K challenge. Just want to see something real quick. Okay, so that is all for this stuffing. And altogether, we are saving $4,426 right now. All righty. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be posting a budget with me later this week for next week's stuffing. Um, so that will be my next video and then I'll have another cash stuffing. I will not be doing Grubhub this week either because we are focused on moving. Um, so hopefully I'll get back to it the following week because um, I'll need to supplement my income a bit since I'll be getting almost maybe a little bit more than half of what I would usually get for a paycheck since didn't have enough PTO. Anyway, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.